Uh, hi, I'm here at Paratech booth with John Stark. Hi, John. I'm Harit Doshi. Nice to meet you. Great to meet you. How Can are you? you? Uh, good. How are you? Great. <laughs> Can you tell us what you have here at the iZone today? Sure, so Paratech has created a nanoparticle um, uh, semiconductive ink yeah. that when placed between uh, two electrodes, uh, front electrode here, back electrode here, yeah. the white ink is, the, is, the, is our quantum tunneling composite, okay. that when you press on it, it measures force. Oh, pretty cool. So very cool. changes in conductance okay. in, in relation to how hard you press on it. Um, the material offers some advantages in that it's very simple to integrate, but also very sensitive. And used in a couple of different uh, structures, you can do things from put it in a mobile device, put it in other sensing controls with buttons, yeah. um, remote controls, that's even cool. a drill. Awesome. That's, that's sweet. So, if you look at the keyboard application, mm -hmm. right, could you design a keyboard such that if you hit it hard, it, it it makes the letter capital. And I mean, you know, this is one of the things you do today with the keyboard is if you're trying to have capital letters, you, you're, you know. Absolutely. And and this is actually, this product right here is designed for a keyboard. Yeah. So that you have spacing so you can really see good definition between keys, yeah. even when they're close together. Yeah. And then if you push between the two, yeah. you can see a relative change in difference, oh, pretty right? Sweet. Yeah. So even if your fingers pretty close together in a very wide resolution, you can do that. Now, in other instances, you may want to integrate something with much higher resolution, so yeah. that if you move your finger yeah. just a little bit, you can use navigation. I so see. one of the things that we've done, yeah. and I'll, I'll let uh, Themis here describe this, is we've made uh, an active matrix sensor. So oh, cool. here you have uh, 24 by 50, here you have 40 by 40, 80 by 80. I see. Very high resolution. And this is uh, run in an active matrix? Yes. Resolution? So you're measuring each yeah. individual Visual sensor, sensor. Yeah. as then, opposed to passively scanning. Got it. So if you look got at it. sort of the resolution here, right? Right? Yeah. Versus resolution here, look at how much resolution oh, I can get. Beautiful. That's so excellent. now if you think about this, taking either your finger or uh, a very thin, ultra thin joystick and being able to do very precise movements with just changes of uh, your finger movement from side to side exactly. and around, yeah. you've turned your finger into a very high resolution joystick, Yeah. right? Um, the nice thing is this stuff is bendable, yeah. right? And it works when it's foldable. So if you look at this, I'm folding the sensor, Yeah. no signal, oh, so but watch this. That's excellent. So it looks like the possibilities that could be endless. So tell us like what kind of applications you're targeting now. So we're here at SID. Yeah. We're targeting displays here. Okay. Right. So putting yeah. it behind curved displays. Yeah. Uh, and we have a, one of our curved displays at the BOE booth. Yeah. Their force sensing over there is is our technology. Oh, excellent. And uh, so it fits behind curved displays, also OLED. You have a, a display that's now deformable, you can yeah. put pressure through it, yeah. and you can sense that pressure through the deformation of that display. Yeah. And that takes the advantages of having a, a flexible display and doing something with that. Capacitive Excellent. doesn't. Um, capacitive is a great technology, but yeah. it's one of those things that yeah. when you're looking for positive force sensing, this yeah. is something we can add to the mix. Excellent. Can you tell us a little bit about the power consumption for the technology? So right? the great and, thing is yeah. it's very low power consumption. Yeah. So. Um, and, uh, and this is where I'm going to defer to you a little bit because I'm trying to remember the, the numbers. But uh, in its off state, right, you're, yeah. it's virtually zero, right, because okay. it's an open circuit. Open circuit, yeah. Right? But then when you press on it, you're, you're creating the circuit. We're, we're talking about um, uh, microamps of, of okay. use to when you're, you're, you're engaging the entire circuitry, you know, a milliamp. Got it. And you're use, uh, assuming you're consuming power only when you're activating the circuit, right? That's correct. And the rest of the time, as you said, you know, it's it's no power being consumed. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So you I mean you're still driving the circuit? You yeah. can, you know, with power optimization, right. you're, you're it's, it's virtually zero. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Sure. My pleasure. pleasure. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank Have a good show.